Welcome to my channel. Today I will tell you about Cappadocia. Cappadocia is an unusual place on earth. This historical area has another old name, which in Persian means land of beautiful horses. The ancient Persian name Aspiduya is mentioned in the earliest manuscripts. The Hittite name Katapeta Dash, which means place under the capital, is another possible source for the origin of the name Cappadocia. In addition, the Persians called the local inhabitants of this area Cappadocians, according to the records of the ancient Greek historian Herodotus. Location of Cappadocia It is located in the eastern part of Asia Minor, which is now part of modern Turkey. Much of its territory is a plain that is 1,000 meters above sea level. To the south, Cappadocia is surrounded by the Ursias and Hassan Mountains. Although it is landlocked, the Kazilermak and Yeselermak rivers flow through its territory. The former is the longest river in Turkey. Because of the hue of the water, which gives it clay, the river is also known as the Red River. In addition, there is a salt lake called Tuz. You can only get to Cappadocia from other Turkish cities, such as Istanbul. You can get there by bus from Istanbul, which takes 10 to 12 hours, or by plane, which takes about an hour. Cappadocia Winter Cappadocia gets a lot of rain in the spring, especially in April and May. June September are the hottest and driest months of the year. During this time the temperature can go up to 30 degrees and stay around 20 degrees at night. The best time to visit Cappadocia is from May to September, when the weather is mild and not too rainy. Cappadocia Sites Gorim National Park Gorim National Park is considered one of the most important and famous places in the area. On an area of 300 square meters it is an open-air museum surrounded by the settlements of Nefser, Ergup, and Avanos. It contains cathedrals, monasteries, caves, and rock formations. During the persecutions of the first centuries of Christianity, believers hid in these places. Goring National Park The following cave churches can be visited in the National Park, Apple Church, Church of St. Basil, St. Catherine and St. Barbara, Jesus Almighty, Snake Church, Dark Church, Sandal Church, and others. UNESCO has declared the entire open-air museum a World Heritage Site. The cave villages of Cappadocia are another well-known feature of this UNESCO World Heritage Site. These were the early Christian settlements, which were then seeking safety. People built their homes directly into volcanic tuff because it is simple to work with them. They constructed homes, churches, stables, and other dwellings. Six postmortem cities in Cappadocia have so far been found. Kamakli, Durinquiu, Matsi, Oskanak, Tadlaran, and Azagal. The two biggest settlements at the time were Durinquiu and Kamakli. A visit to these towns will be highly intriguing for the contemporary traveler. While staying here for a day or two would not be unnecessary, staying for the duration of the vacation is not required. It is interesting to stroll through the historic neighborhoods, go to a museum or mausoleum, and shop at the vibrant neighborhood market. The capital of Cappadocia is the city of Nefshir. You can stroll around the neighborhood shops, explore the historic fort that is perched on a hill, or enjoy fine wine at the area's restaurants. In Cappadocia, you can also ride in a gondola since the river Kizilermak is very full and beautiful. Numerous tourists also like riding quad bikes and going on jeep safari tours in Cappadocia. Classical music festivals are held in Cappadocia. At this time, it's extremely packed. Everyone is consuming alcohol while listening to music. 
subscribe and like my channel. I'm happy to try for you. See you in the next video.